Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and I've got this really special motorcycle, special to me, and, uh, because my dad had one in, in 1972. This is a 72 Triumph Daytona 500. This one has just been undergone a full frame up restoration, and it has not been completed, and uh, we don't have the staff to finish it right now. We've got about a two year backlog, so we're going to offer it up for sale as is. Um, starting with the frame, it was taken right down to the frame. The frame was uh, repainted. The tins, front and rear fender, were given a show quality paint job with uh, twin black racing stripes on there. It's a dark metallic uh, gray or silver paint job with black Daytona racing stripes on there. The um, front end was all rebuilt. Um, the tires were uh, very low mileage tires. They look like they've got less than 500 miles on there. They created correct Continentals front and rear. Um, the engine was completely dismantled. The cylinders were bored 10 over with brand new pistons on both sides, of course. Uh, jugs were bored. The crank was taken apart and uh, serviced, and the engine was reassembled. The, um, obviously, the job wasn't completed, but they, but they did rebuild the heads on the, on the bike. So it comes with a Daytona headset that's been completely refurbished. And you can see the valves are, are all in lifters and everything are all rebuilt. The, uh, it was bead blasted. And you can see it's got new valves in there too. So you've got a complete head for a Daytona 500 that's totally rebuilt, which um, is worth quite a bit of money. Uh, the um, carburetors were rebuilt. You can see they were clean and uh, in a uh, hydrosonic tank. They're in absolutely gorgeous condition. Um, the uh, air filters were sandblasted and uh, reassembled with new filters. They were going to be painted to match the bike yet. That hasn't been done yet. So you've got the twin ammo carbs. The side uh, engine cover is chromed, as you can see, and it has the uh, cover for the uh, left <laughs> side of the frame. A custom cafe style seat base was made. Uh, it wasn't finished, but it's uh, set up to be a cafe style seat, so that can be mounted, or you can buy a production one if you want. The um, rear tail lights in beautiful condition, as is the oil tank, the engine cases were bead blasted. They look to be in brand new condition. The serial number on the engine is GG59268. Um, the cases are in perfect condition. Uh, there's a bevy of parts that come along with it here. Um, a new headlight bulb, a new chain. Uh, here's your chain guide. Uh, the um, throttle assembly, a whole bunch of other parts, your kicker. The uh, um, tachometer is in excellent condition. The speedometer is in good condition, but it has a cracked glass, which can be replaced. The bike only had 12,871 original miles, and the guy I bought this bike from said he had it since the 70s. He's an old timer, and he just ran out of steam, couldn't rebuild it. The um, frame number is 59268, so it is a matching number, GG59268 uh, frame. So it's a matching number, 72 Daytona 500. Like I said, my dad had one of these when I was, I think at the time, I was about eight years old when he purchased it. And then he, um, we had a burgundy and white Daytona and he, he gave it to my older brother when he was 16. And then when my brother turned 18 and I was 16, my brother bought a 750 body and I got the 500 as a hand-me-down. Actually, I was 15 when I got it and I got arrested for driving it without a license. Uh, I got pulled over, I had no glasses. And I remember going to court with my dad and uh, um, so kind of brings back a lot of memories. But uh, I had a lot of fun on that bike once I did get my license. I drove it everywhere. Great bikes, they're really fast, they handle amazing, and they're going up in value through the roof right now. The NADA value, if you look online at NADA.com, $11,490 for one in excellent condition. Once this bike is reassembled, this is gonna be in beyond excellent condition. It's a brand new motor, uh, carbs are rebuilt. Um, it's missing a couple components. What you see is what you get. Uh, I don't have the exhaust system for it, so you can pick the exhaust of your choice. Um, just a fantastic motorcycle, tons of potential, and they're outpacing the stock market for sure as far as uh, the, um, the values of these things are going through the roof. Uh, I have a um, new wiring harness for the motorcycle here also. Uh, I have a receipt in here for $250 for the wiring harness. Um, the uh, Headlight bucket is in great shape. The triple clamps are in great shape. The handlebar mounts are nice. The, uh, the control housings are all bead blasted, so they're super clean, as was the uh, uh, 
all the, all the aluminum on the bike. So it's just a super clean bike. If you want to do a concourse quality restoration, you're already halfway there. The frame's done, tank and tins are done, and the engine's bored and uh, has the heads done. So just needs to be reassembled. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Um, you can uh, come take a look at the bike. Uh, we'll package everything up for shipping for you. We can ship this bike anywhere in the country for 500 or less. Um, portion of the profits from the proceeds of the sale are going to the New England Motorcycle Museum Construction Fund. So uh, we're almost done with the big building and uh, it'll be open this year. So I was hoping to reassemble this bike and, and uh, use it myself, but we uh, money's tight and, and we've got to sell some of the toys and this is going to go, but it's, the money's going to go to a good cause. So if you have any questions, give us a call, come check it out. Um, I don't think you'll be disappointed when you see how clean this thing is and how nice the engine is. So uh, good luck bidding on it. Happy holidays. Make a great Christmas present for somebody. If you have a bike enthusiast or if you want to buy yourself a gift that keeps giving, this is it right here. So good luck bidding on it. God bless.